this, so you have to open it up and turn it off. So I go through batteries, and I never, to remember, I never remember to turn, turn it off. <laughs> Story Kit is free, so making social narratives. Um, basically, it just gives you a template, and then you can make your own stories. So you can draw, you can um, you know, import pictures, you can uh, write text on them, you can read to them. I mean, you can do all kinds of different things, and here's just a... Which this is on my iPhone, so. But you can read, edit, or share it, and so here it is. And sharing, you can upload it to a website. And I don't know a lot about this. You can't this. read the near. Let me try to There you go. Oh, one day we want to look for a new puppy. This is the puppy. This is the puppy's mommy. Oh, wait. Karen found a puppy. She liked. So you can illustrate on it that little heart was something that the child drew. Hmm. Here's the puppy, his name is Roscoe. We love you, Roscoe. So, I mean, you could take this along with you to the zoo and take pictures of the zoo and then, you know, go back and write a story about it and have all of that visually available for the student. And there are quite a few other apps out there that will do social narrative type things. This is free. That's one reason why we like it. I um, thought it was it was really really nice for being totally free. It was and it was very easy to use. Yeah, it was really easy to just drop your pictures yeah. in. And, it and then if you have an iPhone, of course, now I have right. an iPhone, so the pictures I can just take the picture right there. Really nice. Is anybody familiar with Model Me Kids, the DVD video modeling series? It is. Fabulous. Um, again, they don't give me anything to say that, but I use it all the time. Um, it has a variety of video modeling, um, cool, um, you know, play, self confidence. It has a lot of things. It ranges from preschool all the way, you know, kind of up to teenagers. But this is their, and it, those are all DVDs that you can purchase from them, but this is their free, um, their free app. And it has just a few places. And it just has nice little stories. I don't know if you can hear it. We're kind of. There's a narration you're reading. I don't know if you can hear it. Here, I could put it on. I'm sure you have it on yours. Here. So it's nice, there's six of them that are totally free. I wish they'd come out for more. I'd pay I for would. them. <laughs> oh, there's only six. There's only six, right. but they're, they're all free. Okay. In here. And they're compatible with iPad or iPod. So you can take it along with mm -hmm. the little small versions here. I don't think this likes me taking it in and out so much. So, and those are the six that are listed there. Do you want me to move to There are more than this, but basically, again, looking at the video modeling, um, these are, it's, it's, it's Conover Company, but they have ADL, they have language, they have social, and they have just oodles and oodles of video um, modeling. Dressing, self-care, hygiene. And the thing I like about it is it's a, it kind of gives you, here's what you do first, and then it has a snippet. Here's what you do next. Mm -hmm. It's a program written for me. <laughs> wow. I know. Amazing. And like two ninety nine dollars a piece. Are you the, do you know the Conover series? I mean, you've probably seen like the computer program for it. It's like $400 or something. And all of these are like two ninety nine dollars a piece. But not even like, a, not for this, but two ninety nine dollars for like 75 there's videos. A, there's a whole series that they're promoting now that's like maybe 10 that are Would you write that one down? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can get some free. You can there get are some free samples. Ones. Okay, so that, went, and that's how they're all set up. Yeah. They like do the whole thing and then each one of those steps is broken down then. So it's like the whole big schedule and then all the embedded components of it. This, okay, anybody, I don't know, again, assistive technology. Dragon dictation has been around for a long time. Um, very, very expensive, and now it's free. Which is just, it, when we saw this, we were, we were amazed. We could not believe it. Um, again, the issue is you need to have 
uh, wireless capability in order for it to work. So we were very, very sad when <laughs> we found that yeah. out. Um, but it, it works just like. So you just tap to dictate. So I'm going to do that. We're learning about iPads today. And then you can either send, email it to yourself. See when I undo that little thingy, I can either email it to myself, I can copy it, I can post it to Facebook, I can email it. Can it. Yeah, it great. I mean, because Dragon Dictation cost how much money? Back in the, how much was it? 250. 250. Dragon Dictation, when, we, when that first came out, we were using it for assistive tech. How does it work for a student that has trouble speaking? Does it pick up? It, it, um, it has some um, it has some ability to differentiate, but it's not su it's not super good. I've even said things and not been articulate enough. Yeah, like there. We are aware. We're yeah, where? Where? Yeah. But still. Oh, type of each team. Again, <laughs> co-writer. Um, you know all those word prediction. Uh, now this is um, like to part with the <laughs> This is amazing. It just works just like co-writer. Um, well, yeah. Well, let me show it. Pricey. Oh yeah, the ten ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. In the app world. In the app world, it's very <laughs> expensive. Okay. Writing apps. Oh, these are so cool. This ABC tracer and ABC cursive are really, really neat if you're working for fine, with fine motor issues. And I did a little, like, beginning kind of research probe um, with just a few kids that, nor that writing is a very non-preferred task for them. And I think initially, isn't that cool? So if you do it right, you get green and you get a fun noise. And if you do it wrong, you get red and you get um, a weird noise. Um, that so far no one likes better than the fun noise. So that's a good thing. It's bad if they um, And you can also set the formation. So if your school uses a certain type of formation with their letters, you can um, kind of set it. Like your W's are formed in a certain way or your M's. Um, and the amount of time that I had my students, like from 45 seconds of focused attention on a writing task, if it's just paper, pencil, to like seven minutes and 56 seconds um, and went from four letters with accuracy to like 25 letters with accuracy. Huge difference, you know, obviously technology, that's gonna be the, the pull, but you know, that I got more focused attention, more accuracy, it was, it's just amazing. Did it translate back to actual writing? Have you, I mean, it doesn't improve that? Well, I haven't done any like long term. Okay you know, research, I was just looking at just initially, like how long will you sit here doing paper pencil, how long will you sit mm -hmm. here with the iPad? <laughs> yeah, um, typing class, and then there's story class. Yeah. That's on mine. How much we'll is just this writing app? Pardon me? How much is this writing app? So there's a free version, and I think when you um, go to buy it for an iPad, it might be $1.99 for an iPod, it's 99 Okay. It's not expensive. And the other thing you should know, like the iPad, the iPad apps won't go to an iPod, but if you buy an iPod app, you can put it on. And a lot of times, let me show you, for example, the Hershey chocolate milk. The Hershey chocolate milk, that's true. Pod, but down the corner it says times two, which you can barely see, kind of right there. If you touch on that, it enlarges it, and it mm -hmm. works just fine. So, just kind of good to know. And then story patch, we'll just tell you real quick. Throw in there is there's a, a a place called Moms with Apps. It's just a bunch of moms that research apps, and a lot of them have students, children with special needs, and they advertise apps that are on special that week for people that, um, Friday. that yes, Friday free apps. So that's how I got Story Patch, but Story Patch is really, really neat. Afterwards, if anybody wants to stay and look at it, I think that my iPad's the only one that has it. Really, really neat um, language arts literacy. Um, app that allows a child to create his own, his or her own story and illustrate it in, in a really unique way, um, or it will, with very simple question and answer, kind of create a story for the student and really empower them um, for literacy activities. It's really nice. um, I'm going to show you one here real quick. 
and this is a story builder. And it's a little bit hard because you can't hear it. But it will give you prompts, and you can vary the level of prompts, which is nice, and you can vary the level of reinforcement. Um, and then the student records their voice. So the boy's mom is you know, giving him medicine, so the, you hit record. The boy's mom is giving him medicine. And then you can listen to it. You can repeat the question. You can go to the next question. How does the boy feel about it? <laughs> I know, the voice is <laughs> And so you keep going on until you build a story. And then at the very end, it'll say, you know, okay, listen to your story. And you can hit the play, and it, the student tells a story. And you can then vary the level of questioning until, you know, hopefully then you, you lean off. And then you're down to just kind of telling a story about the picture. So that's one. Um, the other language apps. Now, I'm not going to go through all of them, but the I sentence, the I question, you kind of manipulate little wheels to kind of, you know, write a complete sentence. And again, you can vary the level of, thank you, you can vary the level, you kind of see it up there at the top, but you can vary the level of, you know, the different wheels so you're creating complete you know, sentences and grammatically correct sentences. Um, I question, you're answering WH questions, you can randomize the questions, you can, ice, you know, stick with one. Okay, the next one. The next one is the ABC flashcard or ABA flashcards, kindergarten.com. And actually, through the month of April, these are all free. I would highly recommend if you don't have them, go home and download them all. Um, the flashcards are beautiful. Um, a lot of the emotions are really nice. There's all kinds of, and you can see I've listed out for you, there's so many vocabulary. Um, and and it, some of them get really, I mean, the vegetables and things you would be thinking a little out there, but there's a lot of really good ones. <laughs> and then the next one, is um, the language apps that go on, along with it. And these are more like receptive, and you, it's, they're interactive. And these are also free this month. So I would download these. These are great. Um, I had a student, again, who touch, um, you know, and I was getting like three correct answers. Yay! We did this. Awesome. He had like 25 words, I mean, consistently. And it, it just amazed me the difference when I introduced that technology for him. Um, that made. Where is the deer? That's what it does when it's And then it will blame her. You did it. Find the saxophone. But they're really, they're really nice. And then you could do like there's an association one, which two go together, and there's one which one does not belong. All very, very nice. I've even emailed them and said, please make more. They've not emailed me back. But. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. I'm still hoping. We spend a lot of time at the app store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> virtual time at the virtual app store. Mm -hmm. Do you want to show them to you? Getting into, but there's a website um, that Quizlet.com that kind of goes along with that. You can download sets of cards. They've got some Edmark stuff on there. So we're just kind of starting to explore that. Um, but it can also just flash cards on the iPad, on the iPad or iPad. Is there a limit to how many apps it can hold? Yes. How does that work? There's there, memory just like a computer. But if you look at mine, I have a ton of apps and I'm not anywhere near yeah. my um, Even with all the videos, which take up the most amount of space, and we have like all those Conover videos on ours that we have in the classrooms, there's still, we still have a ton of. I heard about this, um, but it's, you're sitting in a meeting, you're recording, you're taking notes, so you're jotting down your notes. I think this is like 299. 299 or 499. Um, and then what's cool about it is you go back to your notes and say somewhere in that, meeting you talked about you know summer services you touch summer services it's going to go right um, in your voice recording where summer services was talked about which I thought is so cool yeah so we like that one you can also um, like I think draw illustrations mm -hmm. in, in addition to just writing notes with that sound okay so these things are voice recorders too just yes. so you can sit there and just and that's just that's even with the I, the iPad one Now this is contacts, and she just showed me this yesterday, which I think is so cool. Okay, so in, you, a contact is just an address book. This comes standard with all iPads. So you have your address in. So here's McKinley Elementary, one of the schools I'm at. When you touch the address, this is so slick. Oh, you know what won't be slick? Oh, okay. Well, thank goodness that I have enough. Here, here is a picture of McKinley Elementary. Oh. Um, it, it drops like a little pin on that address and then you can have, and if you lift up, 
you can change it to like a satellite, the hybrid, the actual map, look at the terrain and all of that stuff. You know, that's standard because it has this like interconnectivity with Google and maps. And that's slick. I really like it. Yeah, you can have different, cat, you know, a home, a work, uh, you know, a gifts you want to buy. You can have a lot of tabs with it and um, put a lot of different information on it. Um, we'll just kind of let you know real quickly, you know, we're kinda, we, we could go on and on about apps forever. Um, in QuickOffice, the QuickOffice is basically the, the Microsoft things on the iPad. So it's not as fully functional, but it's, I mean, you could definitely get out a Word document, work with it, or a PowerPoint, you know, and work with it. Um, and that was $15, I think, for kind of the whole package. Yeah. So, so it has Word, PowerPoint, and, and Excel. Not like the full-on Word, right. PowerPoint, and Excel, like are on your laptop or your computer, but it's functional enough. And then Pages would kind of be is kind of Apple's. I should put Apple's Word for iPad, but um, so it's a little. Oh. It's a little nicer, but it, it's you know it's Apple's version. And you know what what we use? It has Keynote. I'm sorry too. Yeah, Keynote and Pages. And what we use a lot with those is if we want to do social narrative kinds of things and we want to individualize it for students, like we can put like a PowerPoint or a Pages presentation together, and you can have video right in there. Like I have what what to do when you get your period. How do you use a urinal? And in like a PowerPoint or a Pages presentation. And the cool thing about it is it's individualized, so it's not being blasted to the entire class. You know, it's just that one student, I turn it on, it's right there. We don't have to wait for the computer to warm up. You know what I'm saying? All of those things that we deal with. And it's really nice to make it really functional and versatile for individual students. Um, some other tools, calculators, timers, we've talked about that a, a lot about that. Um, Clock Pro is a, a free clock to download. Um, has analog digital digital um, metronome. You have to use that a little bit with the students. So there's there's just everything you can imagine. Um, the timer I do like is JS timer and it's free. It's just simple. You just scroll to the number of minutes and seconds you want to hit start and it just goes and you can go into your other apps and it'll go. It just has a real nice kind of ding, 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 ding when your time's over. Um, so sorry, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Some things for cause and effect. Um, there's a new one called Touch Trainer and you know, the idea is there's kind of a, a target on the screen and the child has to touch that target and then there's reinforcement provided with it. Um, some that are just fun and kind of after I was being more happy to show you, but Tesla toy. It looks like fireworks, kind of when you touch it on the screen. Um, laser light, same thing. Doodle Buddy is a, a real fun drawing program. A lot of our students choose that for their reinforcement time. Um, draw stars. Just wish we had more time to just show you all these, but come on up and, and, and check them out. Um, two data collection apps that we use. There's a lot out there. There's ABC Pro. There's Skills Tracker Pro. There's a lot of good ones, but the two that we use. One is Percent Tally, and it's pretty cheap also, and it's just a real simple. Plus, you can literally go through your data and do plus, minus, minus, plus, 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 minus, minus, plus, minus, and then it says 73%. It's like Very 13, simple. 73%. Really makes quarterly progress a lot. <laughs> Very, quick. Very quick. Yeah. And Behavior Tracker Pro is a little... Third, it's it's, it's $29.99. I got yeah. it when it was on sale. Is it $29.99? Um, they updated a lot, but it is really nice. And if you have an iPad 2 or an iPhone, you can actually, if you're tracking a behavior, you can actually videotape it. So it'll track like the duration of the behavior um, and then actually video it. And then you can decide, well, do I want to save that video and use it? And, and then it analyzes it all and makes a nice little cool chart for you. Of course, you can email it, you can save it. Um, it takes nice. frequency, it takes um, ABC. ABC, frequency interval. Um, it, it, it's, it's a really packed program. It has a lot of really good things. How expensive was percentality? I think a dollar was cheap. I'm sorry? Like a dollar yeah. or two? Okay. So that that not coming up on the iPad, you guys. What? Percentality is not coming up, but uh, it's not. Go to I. Go to I. Um, Ooh, man. Oh, I hope I, it's not just iCloud. It, yeah. Is it? Well, you know, I would say I would most things, it. it'll just give you that little two times at the bottom. And it says it's an iPhone app. 
I bet so it would still be. I bet it would still be all right. Probably you still down on my iPhone. I do. No, on your iPad. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, just some. Oops. Going back here. Some fun two-person games. There's tic-tac-toe and hangman and checkers. Um, Picturica and the piano. There's a virtual so piano. You could put like two keyboards on and kids can play. Um, but just some nice things for interactive. I mean, you know, we going on about this, but you know, getting kids to kind of be interested. So you know, we're in a school environment. You know, having you know peers come in and I mean, you know, there's an iPad. Oh, hey, let's check it out. You know, then there's things that they can play together on it. Um, you know, and again, we're looking at some data between you know playing tic tac toe on a piece of paper versus playing tic tac toe on an iPad. You know, guess which one lasted much much longer with many more you know turn taking and, and longer interaction. And fewer prompts. That was the other like thing. the passing it back and forth independently to play tic tac toe. You know, students that don't communicate with each other. And then these are just some resource apps. Um, there's a lot of things where you can have, you know, it'll stream, it'll stream like news bits and news feeds and things like that. So those are uh, the Autism News, the SOP yeah, updates. Ocali, Ocali has a really nice uh, help yeah. autism help app. There's an Autism M chat, which is just you know, basically a screener. Um, and that's on the iPod now. Power Assessment Toolkit is free. It has like an age calculator and things, you know, chronological age, just to, you know, some things that make it easy, some, some percentile um, converters, things like that. And then hidden curriculum, anybody, everybody familiar with hidden curriculum from, okay, hidden curriculum um, from AAPC and um, Brenda Smith Miles. Yeah, um, that's a but nice. But it came out with, it started as what, like a book? Yeah, a book, and then they went into little calendars, calendars. the hidden curriculum thing of the day. You know, the hidden curriculum are the, the things that we all kind of know about our interactions with each other socially, but no one really teaches us. Like, you know, sometimes it's okay to curse, but you don't want to do it in front of your mom and your teacher. <laughs> Teachers don't like it when you point out a mistake, you know, things yeah, like that. Yeah, things like that. So there's a whole bunch of just hidden curriculum tidbits like that. And you can kind of... Um, the, whoever a couple yeah, books. is in, it's hard to teach. And there's yeah, 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 you know, and there's a whole a whole book on it, but it's really nice to have um, those little items, and you can personalize it for the student. Like this one, yeah. you know, I want to keep these ten and these fifteen. I don't want to look at. Yeah, because they'll say, "Is this important to you?" And then the student can pick. Well, yeah, that kind of you know, that kind of is important to me. Or no, I know that you know. Um, and then, in terms of media, you know, Netflix. So you could probably speak more to the Netflix and the ABC player, but. Just you have access to um, basically anything that's on Netflix if you're looking at it on your computer. If you have on the activity iPad. On, the iPad. on the iPad or the iPhone, you can actually watch whatever's available uh, on Netflix. So if you have a student that has a specialized video that they want to, they'll work forever for three minutes of, you can get it on Netflix if you have wireless connectivity. Um, and all of those are media things. Video and audio, radio, radio kind of things. And the amplifier, like I need to double check. I forgot to double check that spelling, but it's just something I found the other day as I was surfing the Apple Store. Um, basically, it works as an amplifier. So you know, you might have an earbud in. You're carrying around your your iPad, or your iPhone, and it's amplifying everything in the room. Which is just is that, ooh. I mean, they're just doing so many things with. With the iPhone, iPod. And then here's all the fun ones. I know we were talking about Talking Tom earlier. He's on here. Um, the Toy Story is really nice. A lot of our students like the Toy Story book. Uh, it reads it. You can draw on all these different kinds of things. So those are there to check out. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> Um, but feel free to come up Sorry and check stuff again.